these brave women are standing up and saying, he molested me, he harassed me. And when anybody has the temerity to say, what took you so long? If you ever hear anybody, usually a male, well, what took you 25 years to finally say it? Now that the guy's rich and famous, you're just after his money. No, you idiot. It's a long time to suck up your humiliation and your fear and finally stand up and say, he did that to me. Why didn't you say anything before? I don't want to lose my job. I don't want to lose my family. I don't want to lose my social standing. I don't want to be judged at, by people like you telling me I'm something. And so when these women stand up, they should all be given Nobel Peace Prizes for this sheer guts. So, I've tried on multiple live me plus audience experiences to articulate this idea and it is bombed every single time. And I know it's good, I just don't know how to roll it out. So stunted as it is, I'm going to try one more time. Since the beginning of humankind, recorded history at least, we have done everything one way, where men run everything, everything. And so the world we live in is, is a man's world. I'm not saying good or bad. I'm just saying that is what we've been doing since your parents, 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 parents. It has been one way and one way only. Like there's sunspots on the sun. There's been little things here and there. Roe v. Wade, uh, pay disparity being addressed. Women standing up and saying me too or enough is enough. So little sunspots, but not the substantive change that I want because I have no attention span. I'm incredibly impatient and I want everything right now. So. What I want, at least in America, since we lead the world apparently, I want a new ratio of power. And I want it Monday. <laughs> Easy to wish for. I want 75-25 women running things. Now, and I'm not trying to get in your good graces, ladies, uh, because Jefferson instructs me that anyone with power will be corrupted by it. And if you think uh, a person with a vagina can't turn into an authoritarian psychopath, give them a few generations of power and they will do it. However, won't it be a great experiment to see with women running things, would there be less war? There's only one way to find out. What would healthcare be like if women ran it? People who give birth. What would that be like for women's reproductive health rights? Kids with physical challenges. What would education be like if women are running the show going, I'm not training these kids to become soldiers because I don't want my kid going to a foreign war and dying. So how do you establish 75 25 power share in America by Monday. Not peacefully. And this is the part of the discussion which I can never, I can't get it to work because a lot of men are going to have to die. And certainly, I don't want to. So if any of you women go on a killing spree, remember, it was kind of my idea. And I'm one of the cool ones. And so, so what do you do? And I'm just thinking out loud here. You know, just an idea, but like NASCAR. Like, there'll be a NASCAR event, and all of these men will be looking up. Where'd the women go? Where'd the women go? I'm my head, I had my hand up one, and she left. It's my daughter, your daughter, I forget. Where'd they go? What's that? Overhead. <laughs> it's an airstrike and I'm burning. And so, and this is, this is why I think these thoughts. What is the most detrimental thing to progress in our fine United States? It's not weak borders. It's not gays wanting to have equal rights. It's not those brown people. It's not Al Qaeda. It's not Islam. It's white men. It's white men. And of course, but what about the cool ones? Yeah, I'd like to think I'm one. We'll see, right? I'm sorry, Henry, I'm a machete. 
And my, if, you, if one of you women kills me with a machete, I promise you, my dying words will be cool. <laughs> because, not boring, not boring. And so obviously you can't slaughter millions of Caucasian men. And so we're going to have to do some evolution. And so how do you do that? You just keep pushing people off balance, keep standing up. And those who have the bravery to stand up, you stand up next to them and say, you're not alone. I got you. Like all those amazing young people who marched the other day to save their own lives. Um, thankfully, a lot of people who weren't young got in line and got on those streets with him saying, I got you. You are the future. I am your fan. You'll never know who I am, but I've got your back in ways you don't even know. I've been waiting for you. I can't wait. So stay brave and always know that I am right behind you. And as a man hurtling towards 60, I reckon my job is to clear the lane so these people can get through. What you're going to see in this century, in your lifetime, in the next several years, is a generational shift, and that's why these people are 